So the point of the matter is, if you're going to condemn Israel because of its discriminatory practices against Palestinians, and I agree with you, you should, well, at least have some backbone balls and consistency to also condemn the Palestinian Authority for its discriminatory practices against Christians in the West Bank and Gaza. Do you do that? Mansour, do you, do you condemn Mansour, the Islamic invasion of Spain? Listen, you need to move away from him. No, no, no. Move away from him. Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? I'm nowhere near him. I'm a full way. Mansour, do you condemn the Islamic invasion of Spain, Mansour? Do you condemn Israeli terrorists? Yes. Mansour, do you condemn Hamas targeting civilians, Mansour? Do you condemn Israel bombing babies? Mansour, do you condemn Israel bombing kids? Do you condemn Israel bombing Do you condemn Israel bombing kids? Do you condemn Israel bombing kids? There is a bigger issue going on than Palestine or Israel. It is the fact that the Muslim world is marshalling the cause of Palestine to draw you into circles of influence and lower your guard so that they can advance Sharia law that would make you a second class citizen in your own land. Why are you changing the subject, Mansour? Why, why, why are you changing the subject? I'll talk to you about Palestine and Israel. I'll talk to you about Palestine and Israel. So we started by talking about ISIS. Yeah. And he just changed the subject oh, no, when he started to talk about ISIS. They're running away. They're running away. Defend your penis. Did you not give your name? Oh, Bob. Did your mum give your name? Why are you asking? he couldn't defend his paedophilia, so he turned it into Israel. What a nice pop out. So what we noticed is that despite the lectures that were given last week by a certain Mr. Clay about, about not interrupting, we see that Mansour does exactly that. Proving the point that there is no hypocrite. Come on, come on, let's do this. Come on, 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 yeah. Condemn me for interrupting conversations, yeah. and yet none of you are condemning Mansour for doing the same. Double <laughs> 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 Once again, the Dawa team yeah. show that they live by double standards. Yeah. Notice these two, yeah. these two right here, complain about me interrupting conversations, but they're not condemning Mansour for doing the same. Double standards by the Dawa team. of the Christianity team. Christianity, 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 Christianity,
Do you condemn Muhammad having sex with a child? Do you condemn Israeli terrorism? Do you condemn Muhammad having sex with a child, bro? I don't know enough about the subject. Do you condemn your biblical government? Do we condemn Hamas? Do we condemn Hamas? Stop running, Mansour! Do you condemn BJP? Don't worry, Mansour, stop running! Mansour, you are a coward! You are a coward! Do you know what the Dawah team has learned from every topic? About their religion. Christians are being condemned. Can you talk to me about that? I want to be very clear about that. That's all I want to know. I will support Israel in a qualified way. I want to be very clear about that. So, what it means is, I don't think that we should give carte blanche to everything that Israel. I actually think that Israel is guilty of doing things that are wrong. You're the hypocrite. Are we off the debate, Bob? Don't run. You're him. You are such a coward. You are a coward. You are a coward, bro. You are a coward. The problem that I have is we've had terrorist states in lots of different places around the world. Sorry, just back. Sorry, don't worry about it. Um, America has bombed Al Qaeda. America has bombed the Taliban. Yep. All of that has happened in the places that they are. You're not going to, you know, like Gaza. You're saying yep. the, the bombs are dropping in Gaza. Uh, 2003 to 2008, the bombs were dropping in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and yep. all those places, yep. right? With a lot less civilian casualties than Israel has done in the last 10 years. Yeah. Right? So what's the difference? Is Israel targeting Hamas or are they targeting civilians and they're just like, you know what, fuck it. Right. So, so hold on one second, because there's a false dichotomy that's being pushed that we're in the danger of falling into, okay. which is this idea that you've either got to be pro-Palestinian and against Israel or pro-Israel and against Palestine. Well, I'm a Christian, which means that I am not a supporter of Israel or Palestine. Amen. I'm a supporter of the Christian church yes. and the Christian church suffers because of Israel and because of Hamas. Yes. Let's remember that Palestinian Christians are targeted by Hamas. And Israel. And Isra no, they are I'm talking about just inside Palestine. They're targeted by Hamas. Are they? Because yeah. they are Christian. Why, 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 Christians, one second. Okay. Christians in the West Bank do not have the same rights as Muslims in the West Bank. No. Not just because of Israel, but also because of the West Bank authorities. Christians cannot proselytize Muslims. Christians cannot convert Muslims. Christians cannot, Christian men cannot marry Muslim women. They are threat as second class citizens across the Palestinian state. Muslims can't become Christians. Yes, we've said that. So the point of the matter is, if you're going to condemn Israel, because of its discriminatory practices against Palestinians, and I agree with you, you should, well, at least have some backbone balls and consistency to also condemn the Palestinian Authority for its discriminatory practices against Christians in the West Bank and Gaza. Do you do that? Uh, who's in charge in the West Bank? The PLO. <laughs> Do you condemn the discriminatory practices of the Palestinian Authority against Christians so in the West Bank? I can't condemn anything that I have no knowledge about. Okay, if, let's say but what Bob is saying is Wait, true. If you can if show true, me an example... Hypothetically, of what, hypothetically would you? It, would, it, would you? If, if it's true, of course I would. Right, so now all of you need to do is go away and do a little bit of research about the discrimination that Palestinians face right. by Israel because they're Palestinian and by the Palestinian authorities because they're Christian. Okay, so did that exist before Israel became a nation? Yes. Did it? Yes. So you're, you're yes. telling me... I'm going to... I'm going to you're, you're, I'm, so you're so do you want more info? No, no, no. I know the info here. Oh, wait. So you knew it was existed before? <laughs> Listen. 
you're telling me that there wasn't peace in Palestine between Jews, Christians and Muslims in the Holy Land. So, before, before the State of Israel was created by the British in 1948, there wasn't a Palestinian state. It was a protectorate that came out of the Ottoman Empire. And it came out of the settlement of 1918. And before 1918, Christians were discriminated against by the Ottoman Empire because of Sharia law. So I can't take lectures from Muslims when they themselves support discriminatory laws against Christians. First of all, I want to talk about the politics. I don't want to go into religion at all because I've quite frankly had enough of it today. But if we're going to go on to that, what is, this, what, what, what is this discriminatory about Sharia law? I'll give you some examples. So the brother has asked me, what is discriminatory about Sharia law? So let, let, let's, let's just boil it down because these are real things that were done to the Christians of the past. And there are lots of Muslims in this park that would like to see these things happen again to Christians. Are you listening? Are you listening? One, Christians couldn't repair their churches without the permission of the state. Two, Christian men couldn't marry Muslim women. Three, Christians couldn't seek to convert Muslims. If a Muslim converted to Christianity, they could be killed, executed. Four, Christian church, uh, Christians had to pay taxes called the jizya tax, which was nothing but a protection racket that would mean that would mean they're paying for their lives okay. and their property. Can we talk about jizya? Then? Wait one second. Do you disagree? Do you condemn those practices? No. There you go. Did you see? He wants us to condemn Israel, but he won't no, condemn no, no, the discriminatory no, 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 no. practices listen, of listen, Sharia law. Listen, it's an opinion. You think those practices are bad, yes. but you haven't understood those practices. Okay, so you don't think there's anything bad about killing people because they become Christian? I didn't say that. <laughs> it did, that's, that's he didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. That is literally what you just show said. Me, show me examples where Muslims became Christians and they were not killed. So, so let, let, let's be it clear. It all the time. It's happening right now in the UK. Let's just be clear what he's just said. That's culture. Let's just be clear That's what he's... Culture. So, do you condemn the practice of apostasy that when a Muslim wants to become a Christian, they can be killed? Do you condemn that? Of course. So, no one should be oh, killed. Oh, so now you do condemn it? No one should be killed. Gr great. Right? So, you're yeah, better... You're better than Sharia law then. Do you, yeah, okay. Thank you. I, I, you I, are. I want to talk about this jizya that everyone has a fucking problem with. Jizya, right? Please explain to the Muslim what jizya is. Okay, so we've got a Muslim here. I know what it is. We've got a Muslim I wanna, I here. I know what you know what it is. We've got a Muslim here that condemns his own religion. So he needs to be applauded. Oh, I need, I need now to notice, to notice, He's notice, the other Muslim wants him to stop talking. And we see this in the Wait, park all the time. Why are you afraid of the truth? Why, why are you afraid of an honest That's debate? Not why? No, so I'm lying spewing. then. Apostasy law isn't part of Islam. Apostasy law isn't part of Islam. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Is there such a thing as an apostasy law in Sharia law? I don't know. Is there such a thing as an apostasy law in Sharia law? In Sharia law. There you go. So I'm not lying. So I'm not lying. Talking about that. So he I'm says that I'm lying, but he agrees with my that. facts. About what he said so that. am I talking in what facts said, or in lies? What he said before that, I'm talking about. So, so let's come back to our conversation. Let's let's come back to our conversation. So let's come back to our conversation. Okay. So let's talk about Jizya. Let's talk about Jizya. Are you here to preach or are you here to learn something? What 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 what? One question. One question. Are you here to learn something or are you here to You wanted to talk about Israel. We are talking about Israel. Now no. Notice, no, no, no. notice, this it's Muslim is saying don't talk. No, 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 no. Listen, it's I'm asking. Do you know why? Because every time we debate anything about Islam, the Muslims lose the debate and people see what Islam actually is. He's doing it right now. Are you here to learn something? Or are you yeah, here I'm to here to learn. If you've got something sure? to teach me, right. So let's talk about jizya. Okay. Okay. Because what we've established is that you don't know about Sharia law because you don't know, know about, about the apostasy. I know, right. I know about jizya. So let me tell you what jizya is okay, go because on. that's what you asked me to do. There's an example of jizya tax and we can use the Islamic literature, the hadiths, 
when they talk about the Banu, the, the Jewish tribes in the Kaiba, in the Kaiba. You see, you're not even listening, are you? Tizia isn't even applied anywhere. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I haven't finished. I'm just now. Here's the thing. You're not listening. Okay. So the Kaiba. What happened to the Jewish tribes in the Kaiba? They were defeated in battle and they were told that all of their property now belongs to the Muslim community. It's in the Hadith, Sahih al Sahadith, Sahih al-Muslim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sahih al-Muslim, Sahih al-Muslim, Sahih al-Bukhari. So, this was in this was in the Arabian Peninsula. In the Arabian Peninsula? Around Medina. Around Medina. It's called the Kaiba Valley. There was a Jewish confederacy. There was a Jewish confederacy. People, can you look it up? The hadith about not the massacre, not the massacre, the bit where they had to pay 50% of their goods. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for it. We're looking for it. Because the thing is, guys, we get this all the time. With we get this all the time with these hypocrites. All the time with these hypocrites. They say, show me the reference, and then in the end, we always find the reference. They always deny. But then the evidence comes out. You're the hypocrite. So here's a hypocrite no, you're who's the hypocrite. frightened, who's thing, frightened yeah. to honest debate. He's calling me names. Now yeah. I'm calling him names. So, so what that's happened to these names. Jews? They were defeated debate. in battle. We're looking for the reference right, right now. Yeah, carry on. They, they were defeated, defeated in battle. Hypocrite. Everything belonged to the Muslims and then they had to pay tax. And then they had to pay a tax. This jizya tax was 50% of their income. Okay. That they had to pay to the Muslims. I, I want to know, if they didn't right, pay this tax, if they didn't pay this tax, they would be enslaved or killed. No, I don't. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do you agree with that? No. Listen, listen. Yeah. Do you agree with that? I, you're, you're saying 50 percent and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what your literature says. I, I want to see the hadith that, that you. Yeah, yeah, we're going to try and find it for you. I haven't got it on me right because now. The, because the truth is, right? I'm going to go a bit more recent time. Yeah. When the Muslims conquered Spain. Yeah. And the Jews were there. Thank you for admitting when the right. Muslims. Conquered, conquered Spain. The Muslims conquered the Mediterranean. What right did they have to do that? <laughs> what, what, what right did they have to do that? Why? What right did they have to do that? Now notice, the Muslims are desperate for him to stop talking. They're desperate for him to stop talking. Because the Muslims lose the argument all the time. They are just, there you go. There you go. There you go. They are desperate for us not to debate them. Remember, Mansour demanded a debate about Palestine and Israel. They demanded a debate. And yet what we have seen is that they have been exposed because they want you all to condemn Israel for its discriminatory practices, but they believe in discriminatory practices against Christians and Jews. Christians, wake up! England, wake up! France, wake up! Now notice, Muhammad Ali said that this was bad behavior. But Muhammad Ali will not ask him to come and apologize to me. Excuse me, sir. Do you see the hypocrisy? Do you see the hypocrisy? Jimmy Savile. Muhammad Ali is a Muslim who comes to the park. No, it's just a Muslim that comes to the park. And he, he attacked me because I challenged Muslims in argument. They challenged. It challenged. And why do sorry, you keep sorry, I'm talking to him. So they challenged. They challenged. No, I'm really not. They challenged me because they interrupted. They say I interrupted, but yet they do it themselves. Their hypocrisy is shown for what it is. They are shown for what it is. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. They want you to condemn Israel for the things that they would do to you. They want you to condemn Israel when they would do to you the things that Israel does to Palestine. The, uh, under Sharia law, under Sharia law, we will be treated worse than the Palestinians are treated under Israel. An Arab, Palestinian, Israeli citizen is treated better 
by the state of Israel, then any Jew or Christian will be trapped by Sharia law. And you need to wake up to that fact. Sharia law. Sharia law is the invention of Muslims who interpret the Quran and the Hadiths. And the Quran and the Hadiths lay down principles of discrimination against Jews and Christians. And it was exposed when this guy, when I asked him about whether Muslims had the right to invade non-Muslim non lands, and he was silent because he couldn't condemn it. He couldn't condemn it. You couldn't condemn Muslims invading non-Christian lands. Were Muslims right to invade Spain? Were Muslims right to invade Spain? Answer! See? What do you mean? He's baffled by the idea. What do you mean Muslims invade Spain? You see? Did you invade? Oh, no one complained. Oh dear. The notice, he just justified the occupation of Christian lands. That's what he did. That's what he did. Don't be fooled by the Islamists. They will treat you worse than Israel treats the Palestinians if Sharia law comes to dominate. Google it, don't let him fool you. He's getting paid for this job. Don't think you don't know you're the guy in charge of Yeah, I know that. Liar, 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 Guys, guys, you have to free your mind from the lies of liberalism. You have to free your mind from the lies of liberalism. Liberalism wants to tell you that Islam is a benign and harmless force and idea. That is a lie. That is a lie. He couldn't condemn the Islamic invasion of Spain. He couldn't condemn the murder of apostates. Do you see what Islam does to your mind? So, do you condemn? Do you condemn? Yes, do you condemn the invasion of Christian Spain? Do you invade? Not all of them, no. The invasion of Nazi Germany. There you go. Why should I condemn it? Why should I condemn it? So what you see, guys, they say to you, condemn Israel, but let us do worse to you. Condemn Israel, but we will do worse to you. The Muslims who believe in imposing Sharia law believe in doing worse to you than Israel does to the Palestinians. And they don't let us complain about it. And then if we expose them, what, are you smoking? what do they do? So, do you condemn? Let, let's see if he condemns. Do you condemn the Sharia practice of killing Muslims who become Christians? So, what country does it happen in? Let's, let's stand next to this guy. Let, let's, let's debate that. So, do you condemn? Do you condemn? Do you condemn? Do you notice how triggered they are? Do you notice how absent of reason debate he is? Who are they? You, the Dawa team, the Dawa team, you are the Dawa team, he's the Dawa team, there we go. So, listen to how absent of reason they are. They just want to shout, yes, they just want to shout. They just want to argue, they just want to shout. So notice how he behaves. So now, because of his behavior, we can go and challenge the Muslims. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So let's go and find Mansoor. Okay, let's come now. I'm loud in the room. Where, where's Mansoor? Mansoor! Peace be around, you alright? Mansoor! Mansoor! Ah, there he is, but he's a cameraman now. He's a cameraman now. Mansoor! Do you, do you condemn Mansoor? The Islamic invasion of Spain? Listen, you need to move away from him. No, no, no. Move away from him. Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing? I'm nowhere near him. I'm a four way. Mansoor! Do you condemn the Islamic invasion of Spain, Mansour? Do you condemn Israeli terrorists? Yes. Mansour! Do you condemn Hamas targeting civilians, Mansour? Do you condemn Israel bombing babies to bits? 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 Do you, you condemn Mansour? Mansour! Mansour! Answer the question! Answer the question! Innocent! Are Israelis innocent? Are Israelis innocent, Mansour? Mansour! Are Israelis innocent, Mansour? Why are you running, Mansour? You interrupted the day, Mansour! You interrupted, Mansour! Mansour! Well, you stood there, bro. No one forced you to. 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 You stood there by choice. You forced your way there. You forced your way there. Mansour! Do you condemn? Do you condemn the targeting? Mansour! Do you condemn Islamic terrorism, Mansour? You coward! You coward! Do you? I'm asking you, Mansour. I'm asking you, Mansour. You condemn baby. Are Israelis innocent, Mansour? Are Israelis innocent, Mansour? Are Israelis innocent, Mansour? Are Israelis innocent, Mansour? Are you? Why are you getting excited? 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 Why are you getting Calm down. Let him, let him shout. Calm, calm down. Calm. Keep it calm. Keep yourselves calm. Look at this. He's wound up. Don't, don't, don't fight. Don't fight. Calm down. Calm down, guys. Don't calm down. Don't let him wind up. Don't let him wind up. So, you coward, you dare come to me about Hamas. Terrorists. Hamas terrorists target civilians. And they don't condemn it. He doesn't care about Hamas. There's a reason why bombs are not falling in the West Bank. There is a reason. Yes, I condemn that. There you go. I condemn that. I condemn that. I condemn that. Do you see? I condemn that. But there is a reason, Ali. There is a reason why bombs are not falling in the West Bank. It's because the West Bank are not firing rockets into Israel. Bye! He threatened to punch me in the face and then he couldn't go through with it. He threatened to punch me in the face. It's all right. Let him talk. Let him talk. So, let us, let us. So, I'll do a wrap up over here. I'll do a wrap up over here. What happened there, Bob? Guys, guys, come away, come away, come away, come away. Don't bite, come away. So, here, here's what we see. I'm just thinking, okay, can you hear me? Right, so here's what we see. Muslims want to engage you about the discussion on Israel and Palestine. And they want you to condemn Palestine and support Israel. And there is limited support. Ask him, bring up, bring the brother away. Let's bring the brother away. Shame on your prophet! Shame on your prophet! Shame on your prophet! Shame on your prophet!
Come away. Let's keep it calm. Let's keep it calm. Come on. We are calm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we were seeing, what we're seeing. Come away, guys. Come away. Let let them have their moment. Okay, bro, bro. Let, okay. So let's let's just be clear. They want you to condemn Israel. But as we saw with the Muslim who wanted to talk about Israel and Palestine, we saw that they are quite willing to support laws and ideas that would treat the Christian and Jew worse than, Pal than Israel treats its Arab citizens. The Arab citizen of Israel has more rights in Israel than Sharia law would afford to any Christian or Jew. So what you've got to understand, guys, is that they are trying to draw you into something while hiding the fact that they, particularly the Islamists, want to impose something worse on you. And we saw that. They condemn Israel while justifying the invasion of Spain. Now, also, the Muslims condemn people interrupting them when they interrupt themselves, as we're seeing again right here. But don't feed him. Don't feed him. Don't feed him the troll. So the reality is, guys, we need to wake up that the real issue is what would happen under Sharia law if the Palestinian Islamists won? The Jews would be treated worse. The Christians would be treated worse than Israel. Now, Ali Dawa, through his dicky fit, through his childish temper tantrum, because and threatened to punch a Christian brother in the face. Yeah, he did that. He did that. But why did he do that? Because of the death of a child, which we should all condemn. But he doesn't condemn Hamas for targeting civilians in Israel. He doesn't condemn Hamas for persecuting Palestinian Christians. He doesn't condemn that. Neither does Mansour. So they want to villainize you for accepting that Israel has the right to fight terrorists. But they themselves are supporters of terrorism. They themselves won't condemn terrorism. Did you see how easy it was for me to condemn the murder of a Palestinian child? Do you know why? Because I am a disciple of Christ. But do you see how difficult they found it to condemn the targeting of women and children? They didn't. Why? Because they're disciples of Muhammad. And Muhammad in the Hadith said this when one of his Sahaba said, should we raid them even though we might expose their women and children to harm? Muhammad said, they are among them. They are from among them, the pagans. In other words, it doesn't matter. And that is why they can't condemn Hamas for targeting women and children. But we as Christians can. So which moral system is better? That of Jesus Christ or that of Muhammad? Jesus! Jesus. 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 Jesus.